Hello and welcome to the Writing Gals podcast. We are so excited that you are here to join us. Sorry for the last minute and lateness that StreamYard would not let me post until I had to post 10 minutes. Anyways, we're fine. We're good. We're here (laughs) and we are going to be sprinting today. If you didn't see from the Writing Gals post I made that we're sprinting. So bring your fingers, bring anything you need to do. I will be for the first half probably working on some TikToks. Victorine's going to be sending some emails. Laura will be sprinting. So she's actually doing what we're, we're talking about. But we're probably <laughs> going to do two like rounds of 20 minutes and then we'll be done. So hopefully you can get tons of words written in that time frame. Yay. But let's first start off with what we're doing. So Victorine, why don't you tell us what you're, do- what you're doing? Because it's been a while since we've seen you. So I am working on two things for writing wise. I am working on my angel, um, angels can't fall in love book, which I am just having so much fun with that's up on Kindle Vela. So I'm just putting them up as I write, which is so much fun and having a blast with that. And I'm also working on rewriting this book writing novel, writing a romance novel for dummies. Uh, They contacted me and asked me to rewrite the book um, and revise it and make it current with all kinds of information about indie publishing in it. So I'm so having a blast with that as well, just updating it and um, talking about indie publishing, which is my jam. So that's what I've been doing. It's nice that they finally acknowledge like years and years later that indie publishing is like a viable way to publish. So yes. it's exciting that you get to be the voice that says yes. all about it. And do you do you get your name on it as the author? Yes. It's going to be on the front cover of my name. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is crazy. And then yep. your angel book, how much you've been working on it for a while. Like how much more do you think you have left of it? Yeah, I'm at, uh, I just looked at it, uh, 42,000 words. So I think it's, I'm over halfway done. I think it's going to be around 60 to 70,000 words. So that's that's what I'm aiming for. And it's the the first of a series. So I'm not going to tie up everything. I'm just going to tie up the main, um, you know, who's trying to kill the main character. So I'm going to try tie that up and introduce some other fun things and go on to book two. So do you think you will then publish, can you then publish it on YouTube as an audiobook, even though yeah, it's been- Yeah, I will. Through? Yeah, I know I'll put it up as an audio Have it published anywhere else if you're gonna do audio and then there, but so are they gonna, do you think they're gonna be okay with you doing that or is that just a precaution? Pre- precaution? So, if you are the first one to put up a video on YouTube, or if the audio isn't anywhere else, they'll just assume that you're the content creator. So I'm not going to put the audio book up anywhere else other than YouTube. And then, then they will assume that I'm the content creator. Um, it, it'll only get sticky as if someone else claims it as theirs. And then I have to prove that it's mine. But so like I have an audio book right now that's been up as an ebook for a long time, but I haven't put it anywhere or up on ACX. So you're saying put it up on my YouTube channel first, then I can publish yeah. it on ACX? Yeah, okay. put it on YouTube okay. first. Just a day later, put it up on ACX and you're good. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, that's exciting. I'm excited for yes. you enjoying yeah. Kindle Vela. What about you, Laura? What are you up to? Um. Oh, I've had a new book release. So I'm still on that new book release high that you get which is and it's going really well I'm really excited um I found out I was in the top 100 in the Canadian store today and I always thought that that the Brits my own people hated me um but I'm in the top 1000 in England like I was 695 or something um so I was like super (laughs) excited about that and it's all thanks to reaching out to people um through social media like TikTok and that um when you TikTok works on your location. So I I'd never entered my mind until I found out like, oh, there's all these British people reading my book suddenly. And it's because my videos are first being shown to the UK. Um, so it's been really nice to see that nice. um, you know, like some of my own people are reading my stuff, which is fun. Uh, no one's complaining yes. yet about it not being written in UK English. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
And then now I am going back to two manuscripts that I had half written. And I realized that that's actually a lot harder than starting a new book entirely because I've been working so much on my, I guess, craft and my technique that just reading stuff I'd written earlier in the year, I'm reading it going, oh man, it's going to take a lot of editing. <laughs> There's a lot that I want to change. Uh, but that's what I will be working on tonight. I have, uh, I got this crazy idea. I wanted to write a prequel for my terrible personal shopper series. Um, instead of writing book three, that is up on for pre-order. This is Laura Logic. <laughs> don't write the pre-order just do something else and and then <laughs> while I'm writing this I've got shiny ball syndrome because I've got completely obsessed with the idea of writing a pirate romance <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm gonna, yeah I'm gonna do I was absolutely obsessed with Pirates of the Caribbean when I was a teenager um and then I was researching this morning to see if it was a thing to be like what if I wrote a pirate romance because I do write fantasy romance as well with my pen name and then I found there's this massive like a whole load of people that do actually read it and look for it on TikTok so I'm like I'm gonna give it a go but I've got to write this first <laughs> so it doesn't help that you also posted that you want to do it and now everyone's commenting I want to read that I want to read that yeah, like, I know yes post because then you're like okay now I'm so excited because people want to read it yes I know it doesn't help. But really, they should have said, nah, sounds rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's fun. I'm a little bit hyper about it all. Oh, look, Dina says, I want to read a pirate romance. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, this is a problem. Me and Laura talk, and I'll be like, okay, now I want to do something like that. <laughs> no, I right? can't. Books to write. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's exciting. We're excited for you reaching new author goals and or author milestones, which is mm -hmm. awesome. So we're super excited. I want to read Pirate Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to read it too. Trust me, if, if Laura went into like more detail what she wants to do, it sounds really awesome. So <laughs> we're excited. Well, cool. I hit a new author milestone too. I became a Kindle All-Star author, which I have Yay! never done before last month, which I was not expecting at all so that was a huge shock and exciting thing that now i'm a kindle all-star author that's <laughs> so, so exciting which is crazy because half my books aren't even in ku only like my my ya stuff is in ku and so the fact that i have hit that is, is amazing and Yay. i also finished my book and it is now at my proofer and I just read through it this morning and I actually got angry because my husband has like two chapters to go and I my husband called me he's like I need you to bring this paperwork to the doctor's office and I need you to pick up your, our daughter and bring her home and I was like mad because I was like no I'm so invested in my own book I know what uh -huh. happened. I just want to read it again so um so that's exciting. It's at my proofer and I am posting about it on TikTok a bunch and I keep getting people are like, why is this not out yet? Why do you keep mm -hmm. torturing us? This lady said she's never read a book from me, but she already knows it's going to be a five star. And I was like, ah. that's a lot of pressure. And she's like, I know I'm going to read it over and over again. And I keep trying to like sneak it in like, hey, guys, this is going to be like cliffhanger. Like there's a cliffhanger. Hello. <laughs> like, don't be mad at me. And she <laughs> yeah. She said, one of them said, I'll just reread the book one until book two comes out. And I was like, wow, nice. From a 60 second, if that TikTok video, they are like in love. So this, like when I look back at my goals at the beginning of the year, I wanted this. I wanted to be able to take time to fall in love with my stories. And I wanted to be able to like find readers and have readers so excited to read my book. And so like taking that first step and that first leap and to be like, I thought of this scene. I think it's cool. I put it up on TikTok and I get 60,000 views and over a hundred pre-orders off that one scene. And that yeah. literally helped me wow. rewrite my book. I was like, you know, it ended up being 66,000 words because I was like, well, I had this scene that I pitched on TikTok that everyone loved and I have this one and this one. And so I just kept having to write according to the scenes that were supposed to come. But I fell in love with my characters too. And so... I don't know. It's just, I'm just in a good writing place. I'm really happy with where I'm at. I'm excited because I'll start working on Untouchable next, which is my 
my Wolf Shifter Paranormal Romance, which I think is going to also go gangbusters on TikTok. Um, so I'm just, I'm in a good place. I'm, I'm feeling good. I've got exciting things happening and a um, little nerve wracking, but you know, sometimes in your, per when your personal life is struggling, you need some wins in your business life. So yep. um, I'm feeling good there. So we are going to sprint today. We're not going to take questions. So I'm going to be working on TikToks because I have to put all the text on and that takes a million years. Victorian is going to be sending emails. Oh, if you if you're not in the Facebook group, but you're planning on coming to the Writing Gals, the Writing Gals conference has been moved to October. Just the way the schedules may shifted and getting people to the conference. We have some amazing things planned for the conference. So make sure that you are at the Facebook group to sign up, but that I want to, I'm going to say it now and I'm going to say it at the end, just in case anybody pops in, that it is shifted to October 5th, 3rd. What day? Oh, let me look. I have it on my <laughs> the thing. The on the other side of me um, at my this desk. October 5th through 8th. Yes. Okay. So the 5th through the 8th, it's going to be awesome. We have really good teachers lined up plus us because yes. we're going to try to get some. Go ahead. Oh. If you submitted a class proposal, I am going to be sending out the acceptance letters during our sprint. So do the sprint and then check your email. If you submitted a class, I want to know if you got it. Sabotaging you. <laughs> I'm going to spend the whole sprint refreshing. Okay, so oh, I'm just not open yet, but it will be soon. We just have to get some ducks in the row before we get it registration up. We are hoping to have registration up beginning of July. Yes. So, and then it should give you a couple of months um, until, are, are we planning, and I probably shouldn't discuss this here, but last year we had previous classes. So once they registered, they had classes they could see before the conference. Are we still planning that? Like our Classes. I'm fine going through our previous classes and picking ones that we feel are really good to to be up and ready for people who register early. So we did that last year. We might do that this year or we might say like August, we'll drop all these classes so you guys can start watching stuff prior to the actual conference coming out. And we actually do it too where we release classes uh, the Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday and Saturday is all the actual conference live stuff. But Wednesday night, we'll probably do, or Thursday night, we'll probably do sprints and stuff like that. So there's a lot planned. It sounds like four days, but it's a lot of on your own time watching. And then Friday and Saturday are the live events and all those things where you're going to want to be here to, and, you know, to ask questions and all those sorts of things. So yeah. yay, exciting. Okay. I'm going to put the timer on for 20 minutes and then we are going to go. So you ready, set, go.
time. Ooh, my throat went dry. Whoa, I got to turn it off. That went fast. Yeah. So what else, how many more sprints will we do? We will do one more. So I just, I got one TikTok made. That's how long it takes. Oh my gosh. Because I have to write, I write so what the script. takes the longest? Is figuring out the script? Is that the longest? No. No? It's getting it. I type it all Typing out. it, right? Takes forever. You can see me. I was like. Because <laughs> I, I have to go. <laughs> the script then I record it then I have to go back and I have to listen to what I actually said and then fix the script so that it matches and that doesn't take very much time at all it's getting the script written into paragraphs or chunks and then timing it for when I say it that's what yeah yeah that takes ages <laughs> but it takes your videos and it keeps like you all about retention rate right? like that's what TikTok's about how long you can keep people going and so if you have it written, not just do the captions, but it's like part of it. It gives them something else to look at than just like your eyes and your face. So it takes a while, but it's worth it. What are you eating, Victorine? Probably something I shouldn't be. <laughs> Candy. I need something to munch on. I did 950 words. <laughs> Laura, nice. wow, well, Laura, and it's nice because I was at a point in the story where I felt a bit stuck. So it's like so good to do a sprint because I think sometimes it just forces you to get outside of your head and be like, "No, just gonna keep writing." Like, <laughs> so I'm so happy about that. <laughs> I yeah. am just still getting everything ready to send out acceptance letters, so I haven't sent any yet. I'm just getting it all okay. ready, getting, because some people submitted more than one class that we're accepting. And so I have to get those together and all of that. So. Yes. Victorine is our lovely chairwoman. We have voted her. She is the head of our conference. So we're very grateful that she's delegating and doing all this stuff for us. So yeah, it'll be, it's going to be a great conference. I'm super excited. It will be. I'm excited. I'm looking at all these classes going, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. and me and michelle haven't even put in what we're gonna teach where's laura going i All know right. Get to just... it. <laughs> my leg was going dead you know and you're like loose feeling and you're like i was like i have to move oh that's... i thought you said my neck and i was like no yeah then you kind of like sink into yourself or something <laughs> <laughs> are you oh. ready Rom-com? What rom-com are you writing, Laura? So it's a second chance. It's called The High School Reunion. And it's a second chance um, rom-com. He's an NFL player. And she's like a failed, well, not failed, but like she went to the city to like get an amazing career. And she's not got an amazing career. So it's like going back to their small town for the high school reunion and yeah they pretend that they're still together so that they can save face because he just found out that his girlfriend cheated on him and he has just quit the nfl league because he's done it for 10 years so it's like ah. like second chance for me is really hard with rom-com because there's all those emotions <laughs> like it's a bit more intense than uh just like oh ha ha it's so funny so I don't know why I do this to myself. I keep going, oh, I'm going to write rom-com. And then I put really deep themes into them. <laughs> well, Tessa Bailey put on, like, she was like, I'm crying. She was like crying. And she's like, guess what I'm writing? And she's like, a rom-com. <laughs> As she's crying. And she's like, but you have to you cry so you can have that, like, sweet and salty. So you can have, yeah. like, really deep and then the funny. Yeah. So It, does, it works. It's just... I feel a bit harder than just straight contemporary romance. <laughs> oh, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Lisa said, I'm revisiting my fairy tale mashup, which we love. We love fairy tale mashups. I love fairy tale mashups. Tell me more. Tell me more. What characters are they? What's the twists? Oh, I love it. <gasps> I love fairy tale mashups. 
I'm super excited to put up my next TikTok because the, the cliffhanger at the end is so good. So I'm putting out like yeah. three parts. So she's like, she's fighting. It's told, ooh, it's told from the prince's point of view. Oh, love it. Mm. Which prince, though? There's like a million princes. That's true. Yeah, he let us know which one. the love interest. And <laughs> we need more details. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, so she's like completely confused because the guy, the 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 male character is her ex stepbrother. So they've grown up together. They were like related as little kids, but then their parents divorced. But her, his dad kind of left, and so both of them were raised by her grandmother at the Harmony Island Inn. And then she got brokenhearted and left for ten years, and now she's back because her grandma passed away. And anyways, so she's like starting to have feelings for him. And she's like, what the heck is this? Like, no, I should not be doing this. So she has her friend, she calls her friends like, let's go to the bar. And at first she's like, I'm not gonna drink anything because I do stupid things when I'm drunk. Drunk, And then a girl that he went on a date with earlier that week was like, oh, we had the greatest time. And then she's like heartbroken and like gets drunk and then drug text him a bunch of stuff. And it's just so good. <laughs> they come and get her. Um, um, the substitute prince. His job is to get the right prince with the right princess. Oh, what's this? Um, um, prince matchmaker. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Fairy tale matchmaker. Love it. Fairy tales are hot on TikTok. Push mm -hmm. your fairy tales, and fairy tale readers are like ravenous there. They are. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Twenty minutes. Okay, and then we'll be done. Ready, set, go.
We're done. Whew. That was harder. <laughs> I, can't, I was like, I did such a good job the first time, and the second time I would have 588 words. Oh, that's that's all good. right. That's great. It's still, good. it's still good. So you got 1400 for the whole time we were on? About that, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, and I finished my TikTok. So now I've posted three today, and I've still yay. got more to So yay. <laughs> But I like, as soon as my editor got my book back to me, I was like, okay, I've got to do this. So I started and I did that above anything else, which is good. So I have the rest of the day to do stuff. I've sent out a few acceptance letters. So if you yeah, yeah. pitched a class, go check your email. I haven't done many. So don't worry if you don't have one. I'll cool. continue to get that done. And we will, and we will see. call it a night. Thank you guys so All much right. for joining us. If you missed the beginning, yeah, the thank you for sprinting. Move to October. So come join the Writing Gals group so you can find out more information about that and get the link to register. And we will see you guys next week, possibly. We're kind of lowering the amount of podcasts that we do. So we'll keep you guys informed in the, in the Facebook group whether or not we'll go next week. So we will right. see you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.